One of the fields we look at had, uh, had an area of, of salinity that we see for, that is pretty typical for the James River Valley um, in South Dakota. And so the James River Valley runs right through Hutchinson County also. And we see these salinity areas popping up uh, because those salts are they're really inherent in our soils deeper down in the profile. And when we get these heavy precipitation years, that water table moves up. And then it, uh, through capillary action, that water moves to the soil surface, it evaporates and it takes the salts with it. Well, the water evaporates, but the salts stay at the surface. And so if we're not managing the water table uh, in, that, in that field correctly, or we're not using enough water, then we get those salts that move into certain areas of the field, wherever that water table is higher or closer to the surface, or we get some saline seeps where the water is moving basically horizontally from throughout the field. And so what, we, what we're looking at is one of those areas, uh, really the soil structure in those, in those places, a lot of them also happen to be uh, sodic. Um, so the soil structure is really poor, water does not infiltrate well. So those are, those are areas we're really working with um, a lot of landowners on how we, how we remediate those areas and put them back into production. Right, and uh, yeah, it's my understanding really that you can't just treat the saline area, you have to treat everything upslope as well. So you've got to use that water upslope. And then you're also looking at, uh, it's more successful with perennials than just with annuals. Is that correct? Yeah, that's that's correct. The salinity isn't too isn't too high. You can maybe address it through crop rotation and cover crops, but often the salinity is is too high to even really make good headway with crop rotation and cover crops. So really, the the best alternative, in my my opinion, to restore these areas is through perennial vegetation. Uh, we have salt tolerant perennials, uh, grasses, that we can establish in a lot of these areas. And we also want to establish them kind of throughout the watershed of that field. We want to determine where that water is coming from and we want to use that water in the whole watershed. So it's some areas you might be able to plant, you know, just a few acres and, and kind of remediate and correct your issues with salinity. Some larger scale planting, um, but those areas can still be production areas. You can still graze those acres. You could still hay them if you wanted to. So it's not a, like you're just planting it to perennial vegetation, just, just watching it. You can still, you can still make some money off of those acres, which is really what we're trying to do. We're trying to show that you can be productive, both as far as restoring your soils and productive for your pocketbook. That's what our producers are trying to make a living off the land. So we need to make sure this stuff is economical for them also.